Just for you guys, I have launched my USB-C type Arduino Nano on Amazon with a brand name Electronic Clinic. So when you buy the Arduino Nano, be sure to check for the brand name Electronic Clinic. I've made its packaging quite premium. Inside this box you will find one Arduino Nano and an anti-static plastic bag and one original USB-C type cable. Just check out the quality. The USB-C type port has added a touch of elegance to the Arduino Nano. For your convenience, I have already soldered the mail headers onto it so you will get it ready to use. All you need to do is to connect it to your computer and start programming. If you buy this kind of Arduino Nano board which doesn't come with a cable USB-C type port or soldered mail headers, you won't be able to use any cable with it and its cable isn't available everywhere. So you will have to buy a separate cable for it which means extra payment. And if the cable gets misplaced or lost, you will have to buy another one. So I must say it's time to upgrade instead of purchasing this kind of Arduino Nano by a USB-C type Arduino Nano because USB-C type cables are readily available in every house nowadays and you can easily get them from any mobile shop. The pinouts of both the boards are exactly the same. So if you want to use this new Arduino Nano in any existing project, simply remove the old Arduino Nano and replace it with this new one and that's it. For your convenience, I have properly labeled the I2C pins. A4 is the SDA and A5 is the SCL. I have labeled the reset button and added arrows with the TXT and RXT pins. And let me also tell you the technical specifications. Pins placement and usage of both the Arduino Nano boards are exactly the same. Now let's connect it to the laptop. While the Arduino IDE is open, go to the file menu, then to examples, then to digital and click on the blink without delay. This is the example code which I'm going to use to blink the onboard LED. To upload this program, first you will need to select the Arduino Nano board. Again, go to the tools menu, then to processor and select 80 mega 328p old bootloader. Again, go to the tools menu, then to port and select the communication port. Finally, you can click on the upload button. The code has been successfully uploaded and I can already see the onboard LED is blinking. Let me show it to you. You can support me and my channel by purchasing this product. It's quite affordable. If you purchase my Arduino Nano and add a product review and comment, you will have my full support. If you encounter any issues with any of my projects, I'm here to help you. So that's all for now. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.